Hello everyone, I am back once again and I wanted to share with you a couple words of wisdom. And today's topic is going to be about fear. Yesterday I talked about reinventing yourself and one reason why people don't reinvent themselves is because of fear. Fear really controls a lot of your decision making, it impacts your thinking process, it kind of like um, make makes you really want to not do a certain maybe new career, uh, transit to a new job, go back to college, finish a certificate program, acquire training. Fear will paralyze you to the point where you can't um, go to the next level because you're so overwhelmed by it. Can I do it? I can't do it because you have all of these negative factors that's going on in your life. And I say factors, I mean in terms of you may have different groups of people that impact you to the point where they think that you can do it. So you start believing you can't. And sometimes your prior educational experiences, excuse me, I need some water. <coughs> excuse me. Um, fear paralyzes you to the point where <clears throat> you can't think straight. <clears throat> Let me get a little more water. Actually, that's Gatorade. So, fear paralyzes you to the point where your whole thinking process will be impacted. And also, because you're in so much fear that you can't take any steps forward. So going back to those people that are in your life, um, people that you're surrounded by, uh, they will say negative things. They will go back and point to when you were a child, that you couldn't do this, you couldn't do that, you were not good in school, you were not. They will point all of these negative things that have great impact on you to keep you from moving forward. That carries on with you throughout your life. And so sometimes one bad incident or one bad situation, one bad circumstance, one bad uh, conflict, um, sometimes, or maybe your parents said something very negative, or maybe they compared you to your different siblings. And so you don't feel like you can do it. And so fear takes over to the point where you talk yourself out of certain jobs. You talk yourself out of doing certain things. You talk yourself out of doing more because you feel like you can't. You put limitations on your thinking, on the way you perceive yourself, on the way that um, that you overall um, operate on a daily basis. Because air, all of your decision making sometimes is impacted by your fear to move forward. And that's hindering you from being maybe your best person that you can be because fear has just controlled your everyday thinking, your everyday process. And so you have to start kind of like regrouping, okay? You have to think about the circle of people that you're around. Negative people don't want you to go anywhere in life. I'm just going to be honest. They don't have a vision for themselves, so how can they have a vision for you if they don't have a vision for themselves? So you have to start thinking about what is your vision for yourself? Are you just going to start at some point making those little itty bitty baby steps to move forward with your life and not think about what other people are saying about you? Because they because they don't know where to go, so they're holding you from moving forward to making that big little leap. Sometimes you had to go to a baby step and then take that leap. But but some people, they take the baby step and then they go running. And then when they run and hit a wall, they go, oh, I can't do this anymore. Sometimes you have situations and circumstances that you have to go through as learning experiences. So you may have to try that same similar job over again till you get it right. Sometimes you have to retake a class over that you took maybe twice in college because maybe you had a lot of outside factors that present, prevented you from being that student. Like, for example, I had like math phobia as a child and it went all the way through my adulthood. Not till I got this phenomenal um, professor at Prairie View a and he taught electrical engineering classes. 
I was nowhere in electrical engineering, but he taught a trigonometry class and uh, calculus. And so I had to take, actually I had to take both of those classes. And I passed with the B with no tutor. So that should tell you that when he encouraged and motivated the class, I got over my anxiety and fear of math. So you have to start thinking about and reflecting your life. What is holding you back? What has someone said? What has someone done? Because it goes back to those little those little things that, that have occurred. And so after I accomplished that, I go, well, I can probably do stats now. And I had to have a stats class in the past. So I just wanted to share that with you is to try to overcome your fear. And I see everybody online now. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, I see my sweet sister, Naya, is online. I see Edith. Uh, let's see who else I see online right now. Tanisia, Dorothy, Tracy, uh, Jamie, Dear. I'm so privileged that you guys stopped by just to check out with today's words of wisdom. So I'll be back on tomorrow. And also tomorrow we have something special. Uh-huh. It's the mystery product. So please stop by. See you soon.